Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 17th through the 23rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Taurus, what's going on? Come on. There it is. There you are. opened up your past I'm like oh and then as the energy started climbing up from the current to the immediate to the overall energy I'm like Pfft. I don't know what the hell is going on here could be good times could be good times because I felt a boost an energetic boost um the overall energy for the reading the full uh, um yeah, really wanting to take a chance on something here. There's definitely a sense of, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go in and see what happens. I don't care what happens. I'm just going to go for it. I don't know what direction you're talking about here, but there's definitely a sense of openness on your side. Um, in the recent past, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Death card, there's a very nurturing, very loving, balancing kind of an energy. I feel like somehow it's tied up to you and you only um, in that self-love aspect here. But there's a, there's a death energy over it, kind of like it stopped. You stopped for some reason, you forgot uh, to, to take care of yourself, to love yourself, especially, to come back home into that place of um, emotional balance within yourself. Hmm. In the current situation, the Chariot, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the energies are pumped up here like crazy. Uh, whew, left and right here, by the looks of it. It's like something's coming towards you. You're putting out a lot of energy. It's working out. It's kind of like, think of it as this is your energy. This is somebody else's energy. And they're coming to meet halfway. And as they meet halfway, they already start to build before they even meet. So it's kind of like this whole book. And then it keeps on growing and growing and growing. It's quite interesting. Quite clashing in a good way. I don't know. Uh, in the immediate future, the Empress, the Hierophant, the Strength card. What the hell is going on here? Quite powerful energies here. There's you in the middle of it all. There's someone attached to your heart here. And there's a lot of energy at stake here for you and whoever this is attached to you. Uh, good energy, quite strong, quite, remember what I told you, poof. Yeah, that kind. Um, let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Let me see the full. Keep looking at that past energy there. It, 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 I, I hear, I keep on hearing lost, lost, lost. Almost like you lost yourself there for a split second. Uh, th this is what I'm getting with all of that for some reason. I lost myself, I lost my way. I don't even know what the hell that is. We'll get to it. Let's do the full. Man, these are great energies. Uh, the Magician, the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, manifesting equal give and take energies. You know, whatever experiencing experiences you're having and the directions in which you're heading, definitely drawing in those kinds of energies that just kind of flow organically and work with you organically, you know? Whatever it is you're attracting and you're putting that out there to the universe and the universe is sending you that. There's something, something happened here where you opened up quite drastically uh, in alignment with yourself. And it feels good feels quite powerful 
in all honesty. Let's go to that past there. Let's see how you lost yourself there. Let's do the Nine of Cups. Pui. Yeah. Eight of Swords, the Devil, the Ten of Wands. Ooh, 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 ooh. The mind. The mind is what got you lost. Your own mind. Your own stories that were created in your own mind. Telling yourself over and over again, I'm happy, I'm good. Look at me how good I am. I'm so happy. Well, you don't believe me? Then fuck off. You know? Because that's what a happy person says. <laughs> um... No, I mean, you didn't believe yourself, but um, there's definitely that sense of still carrying that sense of happiness within yourself, but not reaching it, still being there, but not touching it, not experiencing it for quite a while. And it became very, very hard, very, very heavy, and it created some sort of a pattern where you got stuck in your head and you started telling yourself over and over again, look how happy I am. Ha ha ha. Happiness. Look at me. And if somebody, God forbid, told you bullshit, get out of the way. Because again, that's what a happy person does, you know, re retaliates. Um, but yeah, it happens, it happens, but I feel like you didn't see it. You know, you didn't see it for quite a while. Um, let's do the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing elements from current and immediate future. And yeah, all of them are here. Uh, for the Queen of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card. There is this energy that's still here for you. One that's coming and building. And then the one in the immediate future that's showing up here. And it is tied up to a sense of self-love. Almost like they... Whoever this is to you, they were there at some point in time. And they brought that back. They Not them. By them appearing, you brought that back. Uh, that sense of self-love. Like, almost like, oh, I forgot what that was. Oh, there it is. But then it left again. Maybe they left. Maybe you left, but that, that sense of self-love left. It was there for a split second while they were coming towards you and building with you, but then it's gone again. That's, a, that, that's quite intense energy there. That's kind of, kind of like a, a remembrance, you know? It's, it's coming in to remind you and then it's going. Or, you know, somebody picks it out or I don't know. I don't think it stayed long enough for you to sustain this energy of self-love, so. Let's do the death card. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it was done at some point. The lovers, the ace of cups, the ten of swords. Yep, quite strong energies here of a connection that keeps on popping in for you here. Uh, but at some point in time, it was gone, and with that, that sense of self-love that it it awakened within you, you know? It, 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 as I said, it was always there for you, but you lived before this came through in this kind of a, oh, I'm happy, look at me, how happy I am, and I'll kick your ass if you say otherwise, and then this comes through, and then it... it wakes you up somehow it wakes up that energy you know and it feels natural it feels like oh that's what it is you know and then this situation goes away i don't know what happened i see an ending to it and then your sense of self-love goes away it goes back into oh i'm happy let me kick your ass if you say otherwise you know Oof, something brought you home here you brought yourself home but something from outside came to remind you of what home was. Um, let's do the chariot in the current situation. I have to do it. When it's exposed like that, I have to tickle them. She's not exposed. She 
she knows better. This one trusts me a little too much. And they all do. Let's see the chariot in the current situation. The king of cups, the ten of pentacles, the justice card. Okay. Okay, there's energies of love at play that are coming through that seem to be tied up to a sense of stability for you. So it could be something close to home for you. It could be a marriage. It could be even a friendship, a family dynamic. There's good energies at play here that are coming through. And they seem balanced. But they're giving you a boost almost to move in the direction of love a little more, you know? Uh, let's do the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords, the Hangman, the King of Swords. See, that's interesting. Because on one hand, the love aspect is pushing you forward. On the other, the way things are working out practically and in the, in the physical, I don't see them working out. There's something that's not moving, it's not progressing, and you're looking at it and you're like, no, it's working. If this is you, this could be somebody tied up to you. There's no progress here whatsoever, even though the desire for progress is here, nothing is moving. And someone, someone is sitting here and telling me, nah, what are you talking about? You're crazy. Things are working, things are evolving, things are growing here. Yeah, it's working out. Okay, but it's not. Um, oh man, the energy of the heart is pushing you forward here. I'm trying to figure out, like, why is it stagnating in the physical, and on the other hand, in the energetic field, it's pushing you. Where the hell is it pushing you? Cause not, not here. Not here into where things are working. Um, let's do the Knight of Wands in the current situation. The Ten of Cups, the Moon, the Seven of Swords. Oof, there's an energy that's coming towards you, seeking happiness, wanting happi happiness, offering happiness. <laughs> They're not doing it physically, though, just energetically. You would feel them. Uh, physically, no, it's kind of like mm, not interested. But I do see them not turned away completely from this. Am I dealing with two liars here? Liar, liar, pants on fire. So the way I'm seeing this reading is there you are, surrounded by love. There they are, bringing love and surrounded by love as well. And coming together, when it comes to meeting here halfway, which is the physical, it's like, who are you? I don't even, what the hell am I doing here? Why am I here? fuck off i don't you know kind of like what liar liar pants on fire on both parts you too you're a liar liar pants on fire you are because you told me you were sleeping and then you're not let's do the empress in the immediate future The High Priestess, the King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Yeah. So when you look within yourself and you're honest with yourself, this Empress shows up here, tied up to your heart, and you know that. Um, I get that. I get that from the energies here. There is a change coming up, though. There is a change coming for you. Not in the energies, possibly in the physical. We'll see. Let's do the Hierophant. Uy. Uh, two of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Cups. The, the energy is growing. The energy of love keeps growing and growing and growing and growing to the point of recognizing what it is, what it belongs to. You know, like this soul connection and... Um, 
trying to figure out if it comes through in the physical that way too and if that's the change i can't tell it's very hard to tell here let's do the strength card in the immediate future mm. nine of swords queen of wands page of cups it might it might come through in the physical as okay let's cut the crap and let's be honest with what we're feeling and it's a pain in the ass and it's stressful and it's uncomfortable but yeah let's at least try um somebody's kind of building themselves up to get to that position of okay this is it this is this is what i got you know to be honest about it now i don't know if that's you i don't know if that's them i don't know if that's the both of you because it could be the both of you but there's something quite all right let's do this kind of a thing so there could be a change in the physical as it as this shows up because for now it's kind of like i don't know you you don't know me we'll pretend that we never met i don't I, turn around i'll turn around and we'll take it from there bye um there is a possible change in that let's see what the universe has to close it off <clears throat> the world card the ace of pentacles the moon this secrecy whatever it is you got going on here the both of you you know i'm putting the both of you on the spot here uh is stopping this whole uh ah, let's pretend we're not feeling what we're feeling is coming to a close there is an ending of a cycle here that has to do with a hidden desire and it's coming to a close now whichever way it wants to go from here i don't know i see the possibility of it being like okay let's grab our stuff and let's do stuff here uh it doesn't have to be like that necessarily but i do see that possibility here it doesn't have to be like that because we have free will and we can always change what we're doing basically so but it does show up in the reading so that's what i got hope this helped and i'll see you next time